People give themselves an excuse all the time when they say he's built different. Well, if you mean he gets up earlier, he stays later. He does stuff for others. He asks questions. He's humble. He works really hard when no one's around. Then yeah, he's built different. You wake up earlier than people. You stay later than people. You stay humble. You work harder than anyone when no one's there. I guarantee someone that feels bad about themselves soon will label you as he's built different. He's built different should be your label because people feel bad about themselves. You're setting the example every single day of your life. If you're gonna have a true dope mentality, you're gonna wake up every day and grind. You don't wanna go run, you go run. You don't wanna go swim, you go swim. You don't wanna study, you can study. That's how you start to callous your mind. It's gonna suck. It's not gonna be fun. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. That's how you grow. When something sucks, good. It's gonna make me tougher. It's gonna give me a good story to tell. So bring it. You're going to bring that savage mentality out of yourself. The animalistic motherfucker. You think a savage gives a fuck about how he feels or how she feels? Then just do it. Stop looking for a feeling to control what goes on in your life. Greatness is not something that you meet once. It's something that you meet thousands of fucking times in your life. And you don't reach it if you're not constantly in constant fucking pursuit of greatness. Some of you are not successful because you think effort is success. You think because you put in 40 hours that you're supposed to get some because you put in 40. It don't work like that in the school of hard knocks. They don't care how many hours you put. They just want to see the execution. So you feeling in your spirit like, yo, but I did just as much as he did. I studied just as much as he studied. It doesn't matter. You just got to execute. Lazy people do a little work and think they should be winning, but winners work as hard as possible and still worry if they're being lazy. A true dog mentality is not enough you made to the NFL. Be a f***ing MVP is not enough you made a 5K. Win a 10K is not enough you became a doctor. Be a better doctor is not enough you lost 50 pounds. Go out there and do something with it. And you gotta get to the point where no other human wants it for you more than you want it for you. Are you willing to sprint when the distance is unknown? And why chase this thing called winning? Because the only thing that's guaranteed in life if you don't chase it is losing. The only one that can make it happen for you is you. It's you against you out there. You have to think I am the best guy out there. You want to be uncommon amongst uncommon people. You got to be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. It's always you versus you. Worry about yourself, worry about what you're doing, and worry about where you're going, and only where you're going to be your best self. You're going to do whatever it takes. Do you hear me? You're going to go your own way. You're going to do what they won't do. You're going to be smart, and you are going to win. You're after the peace and the happiness and the pride that comes with knowing exactly what the f*** you're made of. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. When nobody knows what you're doing, when you're putting in those extra reps, it's the process that makes you sweet. I'm telling you that you got to be possessed with the vision. I don't care if I win. I just want to keep coming after you. You're going to knock down whatever that rock is that's been between you and your dream. You're going to keep after. You're going to be relentless. You're not going to give in. You're going to be the person who stays excited until the entire job gets done, until that dream is real. And you know long term, all these other people, they're going to flinch, they're going to get weak, and you won't. In all times when you want to quit, because we're all human here, you make sure you remember one thing. All those times and hours and days, you sacrifice to be the best. 